Grand Rising, and welcome to the voice of Cheryl. I am Princess Type. Hey, got a question for you. Do you know the meaning of the punctuations that you use every day? I mean, have you ever given it any thought? I know we were taught how to use them, but I want to know, do you know the meaning of each punctuation mark that you use? <clears throat> Got an assignment for you. There are 15 basic punctuation marks in the English grammar that we use every day. These include the period, the comma, the exclamation point, the question mark, the colon, the semicolon, the bullet point, the dash, the hyphen, the parentheses, the bracket, the brace, the ellipsis, the quotation mark, and the apostrophe. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, why do you ask this question, Tuplis? And the reason I'm asking this question is because it is very important to know the definition of each one of these punctuation marks when it comes to reading a contract, when it comes to reading legal documents, such as a pleading, a motion, something that you receive in the mail from the courts. Because each one of those punctuation marks have meaning. And if you're not familiar with the definition, there is a possibility that you won't comprehend the document that you're reading. But if you would take a pen and paper and just write these things down and then look them up and think about them when you're reading a contract or you when you're reading a legal document, I guarantee you, you will see it differently. It's amazing if you look at most legal pleadings throughout the entire document, you rarely find a period. You probably want to know why. And the same in contracts. So you can't just leave it up to an attorney to interpret these things for you. Although, when it's a legal issue, of course you want to consult a professional. But again, you know, I'm here just to make you do a little research if you're willing. You would be surprised at the little things that we overlook. They're there. They're hidden in plain sight. All we have to do is find them. I hope you enjoyed this this morning. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Be looking out. I'll have some more little things like this for you. Please join me on Sundays with On the Couch with Tooth Sire at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope that you will join me and find something interesting or something that you can use. Please like, share this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting on? We'd love to have you. Thank you. Goodbye.